Karen Marshall was walking home from her friend Sarah's house late at night when she heard the sound of footsteps behind her. She quickened her pace, but the footsteps also quickened. She began to run, but the footsteps were right behind her. Suddenly, she felt a hand on her shoulder and she screamed. She turned around to see who was behind her, but there was no one there. She looked around, but there was no one in sight. She began to walk home again, but she couldn't shake the feeling that someone was watching her. Karen began to run, but she could hear the footsteps of the person following her. She didn't know where to go or what to do. She was about to call the police when she heard a voice behind her. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Karen turned around to see the killer standing behind her. She was frozen in fear and couldn't move. The killer then reached out and grabbed her, dragging her away. The killer took Karen to an abandoned warehouse. He tied her up and began to torture her. He asked her questions about her life, but she refused to answer. The killer then began to slice her with a knife, and she screamed in pain. Suddenly, the police arrived and the killer fled the scene. Karen was taken to the hospital, where she was treated for her injuries. Karen was released from the hospital a few days later. She was still shaken from the ordeal, but she was determined to catch the killer. She went to the police station and spoke to Detective Tom Logan. She told him everything that had happened, and he promised to help her catch the killer. The police began an investigation, but they had no leads. The killer seemed to have disappeared. Karen was still being followed, and she was afraid to leave her house. One night, she was home alone when she heard a noise outside. She looked out the window and saw the killer standing there. She called the police, but by the time they arrived, the killer was gone. Karen was terrified, but she refused to give up. She continued to help the police with their investigation, and eventually, they were able to catch the killer. Karen was relieved that the killer had finally been caught. She was grateful to the police for their help, and she was glad that she had been able to help them catch the killer. She was finally able to start moving on with her life. Karen Marshall is a woman who was being stalked by a deranged serial killer. The killer was caught by the police, and Karen was able to start moving on with her life. The killer has been caught, and Karen is grateful to the police. She is able to start moving on with her life. The next day, Karen went to the police station to speak to Detective Tom Logan. She thanked him for catching the killer and told him that she was moving on with her life. 